Hey y'all and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. I'm not exactly sure what all we're gonna get into today. I know that I need to fold the laundry and I need to go to the grocery store, which I'm about to do right now. And we'll do a little grocery haul when I get back. And he's talking very loud in his meeting. So we're gonna go over here, back into the bedroom. And then we might go to Target tonight. I wanna go to Target tonight, we'll see. We'll see if we can make that happen. But for right now, I need to go to the grocery store and then I need to come home and do a little bit of meal prep. We're gonna get some like pre-cut vegetables and stuff this week to make it really easy because I am exhausted this week and I really wanna have easy meals, easy food, but I wanna stay healthy. So we're gonna get some healthy vegetables cut up and stuff like that and then come back, fold the laundry. And if we have time later tonight, I wanna go to Target. So we'll see what all happen. And I'm just gonna take it all along with me. We're gonna ignore the mess behind me because I'm gonna clean it up after I put groceries away. Like I said earlier, I got a bunch of stuff to be lazy this week. So, big huge bag of broccoli that's already cut up. And a big huge bag of kale. A couple of sweet potatoes. A bag of pinto beans. I'm about to cook these because we're gonna cook a big pot of beans at the beginning of the week. That way we can have beans with dinner and lunch throughout the week. I know my partner also wants to make refried beans, so I'll probably cook this whole bag and have it last all week. I'm gonna do the quick soaking method where you bring it to a boil, turn it off, let it sit there for an hour, rinse it, and then cook it, because I feel like it works the quickest and I don't have an Instapot, so. I also got a thing of mixed greens. Some more nori because we ran out earlier today when I made sushi for lunch because we had leftover rice and avocado. So I was like, ah, oh, just throw together sushi for lunch. I got some candy. This is for gingerbread houses that I'm gonna be making and decorating later this week. Oat milk. I got three things of this high protein tofu. This tofu is the firmest tofu that I can find. It's really good. It's extra, super firm. I got three of them because there's been like a tofu shortage. And so I have been having a hard time finding tofu and especially finding this one, our favorite one. So I went ahead and grabbed three of them so that hopefully we're set for the next at least two to three weeks. Grab some short grain brown rice because we're out. Some more conditioner and makeup remover because I'm out of those. Got some mushrooms to throw in our lunches and dinners. This bag of Asian inspired chopped salad. My partner suggested getting a bagged salad this week for lunch one day, and this is the only one that I could find that was vegan, but it has salad, Asian sesame dressing, crispy wontons, yeah, and it looks pretty good, so. A quick, easy lunch this week. I also got some tempeh so that we can do tempeh one day and tofu other days, so we have options. I got some of this Modern Table Rotini. I really like this brand because it's lentils, rice, and peas, so it's like healthy proteins and healthy carbs all in one. I was gonna buy Victoria's vodka sauce and or fettuccine sauce, but they did not have any. They were out, so I'm probably just gonna make a really e easy fettuccine sauce at home with like potatoes and cauliflower if I have frozen cauliflower. Probably should have grabbed cauliflower for this, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna make some fettuccine sauce. We got a red bell pepper. Two things of bananas, so I always get two things of bananas. And then I grabbed sesame tofu and General So's vegan meatballs. So these are gonna be probably in tonight's dinner. I'll make like a little vegetable bowl, like maybe some either steamed broccoli or steamed kale, some red peppers, we've got some carrots in the fridge, and do like a, like one of these as the protein. I feel like it would be really good to do the ramen noodles with the General Show's meatballs because then you're having like Asian pasta. That sounds really interesting and good. So do that one day. Yeah, that is everything I got at the store. Now I need to put all of it in the fridge so that I can go ahead and get the beans started and get to folding the laundry because I need to do that. First I'm gonna have to wash that pot because I used it yesterday. Then get the beans started. Dishes, laundry. That's the plan. Oh, he's helping me fold the laundry because it's late. It is much later than it usually is while I'm like meal prepping and getting dinner and stuff ready. So he's helping me 
And we appreciate that so much. We appreciate him so much. Okay, so yesterday we tried the chocolate peppermint cookie and today we're gonna try the salted caramel cookie. Wanna open it? I love how you're like all put together and I look like a troll. And we're just you don't look with like it. a troll. We're rolling with it. You don't feel fine. Is it a chocolate cookie with caramel in it, or is it a caramel cookie? It doesn't really taste like a chocolate cookie. I like it. I dig it. Yeah, I think I like this flavor, especially the little caramel chips. So my molds finally came in, which means we can make some hot chocolate bombs. That's right, we're gonna make those viral hot chocolate bombs. I've got some chocolate in here, some chocolate to seed it with, and then I've also got some vegan white chocolate that we're gonna drizzle on top. Got a pot over here with water in it so we can make a double broiler because I'm not gonna microwave my chocolate like a heathen. I've legitimately been through chocolates class. So this is not the first time I am using one of these molds and this is not the first time I'm making fancy chocolate treats. But I took that class four years ago, five years ago. So let's see if I remember how to temper chocolate. And let me see here. My temp gun is out of batteries. So I'm gonna go ask my partner if we have any of the right batteries. Cause this, you can even see how dirty it is because I used it so much in chocolates class. Oh, chocolate in there melting. Look, I did not have enough of just one kind of chocolate so I mixed some, which is, which will be fine. They're all semi-sweet, they're just different kinds. Like I had semi-sweet minis, I had semi-sweet chunks, and then I had a little bit of semi-sweet regulars. So I mixed together what I had to make enough chocolate. Okay, I have the chocolate melted. I'm just wiping the water off the sides because one thing that gives chocolate like streaks or dots or makes it look not so perfect in the molds is water. You don't want any water to make it into your chocolate at all. So I've got my melted chocolate here and I'm gonna slowly add a little bit of my unmelted chocolate and this is gonna help bring the chocolate down to the right temperature. And also do enough stirring to temper it. Now I can't really explain the chemistry I don't even know if it's chemistry of tempering chocolate. I just know that bring the temperature up and then bringing it down and then bringing it slightly up again with the stirring aligns the crystal structures in the chocolate so that you end up with a very smooth, glossy look. Do I actually know what that means? Not really. I just know how to do it. I also know something about like picking it up and dropping it like that helps too and I don't exactly know what's going on there but like I said you're aligning the structures somebody wants to go in depth and explain it more in the comments that would be super helpful Trying to get a good thumbnail while I do this. I'll probably have to wait until tomorrow to take a good picture of the hot cocoa bombs because it's already late so I don't have any natural light, which is what I usually use for taking pictures for, of my food is natural lighting. Uh, so we couldn't get my thermometer working, so I am doing this kind of blind. <laughs> I also don't remember exactly what the different temperatures are for the different types of chocolate. So again, we're just winging it. I feel like the glass bowl holds heat a lot longer than like a metal bowl does. Yeah, the whole thing about this process is I get chocolate everywhere. Spread it up the sides to make it thinner so it cools quicker. 
So while we're uh, sitting here stirring chocolate for ever, I thought I'd tell y'all that I'll be starting a new fitness program soon. They finally released Apple Fitness and so my partner and I are going, we already have it. We are going to start it probably today. He said he wanted to work out today so I think we might just do like one of the yogas but I am so excited because I've never had like a fitness streaming service and I feel like it would be really beneficial. So I finally have access to one. Maybe we'll do a fitness, a fitness vlog once we really get into it. That might not be till the new year though, cause um, we ain't necessarily worried about fitness right now. Plan on baking too much this week for that. Although I'll need something to counteract it. Okay, we've been stirring for a while. We've been letting this cool down. Now I'm gonna put it back on my double broiler, which is on the low right now, just for a minute, heat it up a little bit. And then we're gonna spoon it into our molds. I don't really have a brush, so I'm just gonna use a spoon to do this. Not the best tool, but we're working with what we got. Okay, I hope that y'all can see these. I... <gasps> that is gorgeous, that is still kind of fragile, so I'm gonna put that down. So I've got a cold plate and then I'm gonna have a hot plate so that we can put these together. And then I've got some melted white chocolate to sprinkle on top, so. our first one together. I'm also using peppermint marshmallows instead of regular marshmallows. I'm gonna melt it a little bit. I think I need to put both sides down on the plate so that they get like a flat surface. melting in my hand. I don't know how well these are gonna work. I feel like they're not coming out good. They're not coming out as round. They're like a little ovally. I may have needed to put more chocolate in them. I might put more chocolate in the rest of them before I finish them. Because they're not turning out as good as I thought they were going to, which makes me sad. Makes me a sad bean. Like, see? They're melting. They're melting. They're not hard enough. I also think I got mini ones when I didn't mean to. melting in my hands. Which I feel like they shouldn't be doing. I feel like I'm gonna take them and dip them in chocolate again to make them nice and perfect. Maybe that's what we'll end up doing. I don't know. I am disappointed. definitely is not enough chocolate to make this happen. Well, I feel like that was a bust, but they might still be salvageable. We'll see what they look like after they harden. Okay, so like they didn't turn out the prettiest, but they didn't turn out terrible. 
I'll be excited tomorrow to try one for the first time. Turns out the molds that I got are a little bit too small. You can't fit as much hot chocolate mix in them as I would have liked to, because I think this is like add two tablespoons to eight ounces. Yeah, this is add two tablespoons to eight ounces of milk. So I don't know if there's gonna be enough hot chocolate mix in there. If not, I'll just add more. But I mean, there's also gonna be the melted chocolate component, so it might be fine. We'll see. I mean, if not, I could just use chocolate oat milk in it and make it extra, extra chocolatey. But thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. Like I said, we're gonna be trying those hot cocoa bombs tomorrow, because it is really late. It is after midnight actually, because we were playing, because we were playing video games on Twitch and you can go over to my Twitch and watch that if you missed it. We ran around Final Fantasy 14. They decorated the cities for Christmas. It's gorgeous. We did some of the Christmas quests and bought some of the Christmas outfits. So we did a dungeon in all Christmas gear. It was super fun. Um, and I think my camera is getting really low battery, so I should end this vlog. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a Vlogmas day. And like this video if you liked it, or if you're gonna try the, the viral hot cocoa bombs. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye all.